Hey guys, welcome to Pizza Reviews. Today we're looking, just having a quick look at the Galaxy Tab A 8.4 uh, LTE slash Wi-Fi version. So I'll just uh, have a look here. Uh, so the tablet's pretty good overall. I've had a couple of, uh, uh, play around with a little bit. Uh, it's not, not the fastest thing in the world, but it's not the slowest either. Let's launch a couple apps here and have a look. So this is on a one gig connection. Um, it's pretty good. Actually, the, the screen actually on is very nice. Um, even though it's an IPS display, it's definitely good enough for the average user. Uh, let's do a speed test on it here. So this is on a one gig connection. I think the highest I've seen is about four or 500 on the 5G dual band and whatnot. So let's see here, let's see what this thing gets. So it gets about half that, so still pretty decent, I would say. On the upload and on the download, it's capped at about 100 megs. So see what it should pull about 100 megs up or thereabouts. Yeah, it's pretty close. So I just go into uh, YouTube here, see what it does. Uh, YouTube. That's fairly fairly snappy, I would say. Uh, see here, uh, Samsung commercial sound on is actually fairly decent, and there's uh, two speakers, two auto firing speakers, which is pretty nice on it. Um, yeah, I would definitely uh, recommend this tablet for anybody who's looking for just a cheaper budget tablet with. Uh, 3G or LTE functionality. Um, yeah, it's a nice little unit. I haven't taken too many pictures with it, so I don't know how the camera is, but I don't uh, I don't expect it to be crazy good. Uh, let's have a look here real quick. Just fire it up and see what it does. Camera. Yeah, it's kinda, kinda sluggish, but it's, it is what it is, I guess. Anyway, but yeah, I definitely recommend this little guy. Well, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like, like and subscribe button. Thanks, guys.